What's up? Do you think Shrek was a virgin when he met Fiona? Or had he definitely clapped some green cheeks before? Well, at least we're opening this video with a very profound question. A question that we've all asked ourselves. I think he definitely was clapping some cheeks, okay? I don't know, though, because when you first see Shrek, he's really grumpy. And he hangs out with a donkey a lot, so it's hard to say what he's into. My girlfriend is currently crying because she thought the $70 she wanted to spend on adopting a koala bear from Australia brush fires was actually going to physically get her a koala bear. Like, they would just FedEx that shit to us, and not just her become a sponsor. It's sad, but also very sweet. She just wanted a pet koala. She did a good thing though. Really though, she should have known better. $70 for a koala bear that's gonna be shipped across the world. It's just too good to be true. That price is too good. Hello, Venus. <laughs> what? Okay, first of all, that's an emoji of Saturn, but I'm gonna let that slide since there's no Venus emoji. And second of all, that is what we on Earth call the sun, not Venus. I don't know if you guys knew that. I don't know if everyone was looking at this like, damn, Venus is really close this year. No, Venus is never that close. Do you know how far away Venus is? And now when I found this on Reddit, there was some comments underneath trying to give this person the benefit of the doubt. They were like, oh, you know what? He's probably just talking about how Venus and the sun are lined up right now. That's the alignment they're on and that's, he's really just really intelligent and he knows where Venus is in the sky. Now. Unlikely. Or there was someone else that was like, he's trying to say that because it's so cloudy and smoggy out right now that our atmosphere is turning into the same as Venus is. Or could it be that he's just dumb? He's really just that dumb. He thought the sun was Venus. I think that's the more likely thing that's happening right now. It's alarming if you've gone this long in life and you don't realize that that's the sun not Venus. It's very alarming. There's at least three people right now that was like, damn, that's the sun? Shit. Thought that shit was Mars. Me and my man bit y'all holes just over us. We look good at, at uh, y'all holes. Can't, can't, can't half my man and I don't, won't, none y'all brook ass dude ever. The hell are you trying to say? Let me decipher this. I speak illiterate. Me and my man... Bit y'all holes just over. Yeah, I don't know what the hell she's trying to say. I guess she's like, oh yeah, you got you girls just lusting over my man, but you can't have him. You, I think she's trying to say hoes, but she keeps saying holes. Yeah, don't, won't, don't, won't, none. Don't, won't, none. Doesn't even make sense. I know the words you're trying to use and they still don't even make sense even if you spelt them right. Those three words don't really work in that order. Don't, won't, none. Oh, don't want none. Don't want none, maybe. I don't know. What you gotta do is you gotta sober up and use your spell check. But you know what? They look happy, so who am I to judge? Sure, this paragraph came out like a jumbled mess, but they look so happy, so I guess that's good. Someone stole my fucking porch. I opened my door and fell. You can't have shit in Detroit. How did you not hear them taking your porch apart? That's crazy. That is a dedication to stealing. You stole someone's porch. That's like a badge of honor if you're a crook. Well, what do you do in time for? I stole a porch. Just ripped that shit right out, hooked it up to my truck, and pulled it out. And to think, I wanted to kill you two times. In this quarantine, you have become my friend. I love you, Manuel. That is a huge ass rat. Holy shit. You have become my friend, my support, and also the cause of most of the diseases I have now. I shouldn't have open mouth kissed you that one night, but I was getting frickin' desperate. Again, happy birthday to my brother. I love him like no other. Hashtag would kill any blank for his baby sis. Love you, love you, love you. Okay, great. It's good to love your brother, love your sister, love your family, but why are you grabbing her ass like that? That is not love. That's just... That's disturbing. It's a little disturbing. Spotted Derby Town. Warning. This guy was supposed to buy our washer dryer machine for 150. He wanted to see it working first and asked if he could do a load of laundry. After he finished, he said, let me go get the money. Got in his car and drove away with his clean clothes. I mean, can you blame him for being a mastermind? Clearly, he just needed a way to get his clothes clean for free and he figured it out. I'd say he's kind of a genius. Not in like the, I invented this really cool thing that's going to help mankind genius, but in his own way, he's a bit of a genius. Ladies, when the last time your tires got rotated? They rotate every day while I drive. What I don't like about this post is the fact that he calls out ladies specifically. What? 
I never rotate my tires, and it's not because I'm a woman. No, I'm not a woman, actually. In case you didn't notice, my breasts are because I eat too much. Okay? And I'm pretty sure her, like, they rotate every day while I drive wasn't, like, a stupid comment. It was her way of being like, fuck off, I'll change my tires when I want. Great value to Di DiCaprio. I can't say his last name for some reason. Great value to Cra DiCrapio. Great value Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, fuck. Okay, you know what I'm trying to say. I don't know why I can't say that right now. And generic cruise. Delete this. Right fucking now. A person who loves you will never kick you when you're down or pour salad on your wounds. You mean salt? Salad wouldn't really hurt that much. I guess it depends on the dressing. If you had like some vinaigrette dressing on there, yeah, it would hurt. Has anyone tried making edibles but without weed? Like virgin edibles or something? Bitch, you mean food? Let's say I got my dick stuck in a ketchup bottle, which I didn't. How would I get it out? Wait till it's soft and pull it out, laughing my ass off. It's cutting off the blood flow and it won't get soft. Not that I did that. Oh no. He totally put his dick in a ketchup bottle. Just sometimes curiosity gets the best of you. You know, you're locked up, you're in quarantine, you have no friends. You're like, hey, that ketchup bottle's looking real sexy right now. And one thing leads to another. Now, is it a glass bottle? Because you could try and smash the glass bottle, but then again, that's glass. Broken glass. Close to the part of your body you probably mostly want to keep away from broken glass. You would probably choose to shove any other part of your body in broken glass before you chose that, so. You might just have to go to the doctor's office. <laughs> Stop thinking such sexy thoughts, okay? Let it go down. I made some bomb ass ribs. You chicks need to learn how to cook so you dummies can keep a man. It looks like you took a shit on a plate. Your presentation is not there. They might taste good, but you are not doing the presentation here. A soggy paper plate and two ribs that look like turds. Literally, it looks like you either took a shit on a plate or you put two ribs on there and then you took a shit on top of the ribs. Most couples haven't taken a trip together in seven months. No shit, really? Wow, I wonder why that is. It was a slow news day, wasn't it, New York Post? Oh boy, it sure is real toe-sucking hours round here. What if toes had foreskin? Well, that would be fucking weird. Three years ago, Mike asked me out on a date. I was hesitant, but I agreed. It was awful and we don't talk anymore. This isn't us. People who get in the shower feet first are weird as fuck. Then how the fuck are you supposed to get in? Let me do a fucking handstand. Use my hand. And I, I don't know, I didn't, it got cut off. How the hell are you supposed to get in the shower then? You're supposed to just dive in head first? Do a cannonball? The hell are you talking about? I like to do a little like booty shake. Back that ass up into the shower. Mmm. Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio.